I'm Joshua. I'm in 10th grade. Uh, I'm boy in soccer and I like it because I get to hang out with my friends and do what we all like to do. My name is Enrique. I'm in 10th grade. My sport is baseball and I like it so much. And so it's your fun for me personally. My name is Alex Mejia. I play soccer for a game in the and uh, the reason I love this sport is because uh, the team effort, winning every single championship with somebody other than this, and it's never just for yourself. You're, you're with somebody, somebody's always next to you having your back. I've learned that ever since I was like three years old. Fell in love with the first day. No, I got it. How do you manage playing sports and doing great classes? Uh, just keeping my, keeping my focus mainly on school because school comes first. Mm -hmm. so that way, if you do your school work first, that way you can have fun later. Um, do you like play any sports to like take away anger or any type of stress to have? Yeah, pretty much. That's good. How long have you been playing uh, football for? And what about basketball? Right. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Are you even here, sir? I told you. Okay, well, we, ask, we want to ask you some questions if you play sports, right? Uh, how do you manage playing sports and um, doing good in your classes? Uh, studying. Um, Okay, um, do you play your, do you play any sports to get away from with like stress, any type of anger that you're going through? Yeah. yeah. Uh okay, soccer and cross country. Mm, okay. Uh, how long have you been playing the sports for? I've been running cross country since Joshua. Seventh grade. I can't hear you. Oh. Uh, well the like, camera can't hear you either. Uh, I gotta start over. <laughs> I mean, we'll start over. How you manage school and you manage playing your favorite sport. I have a couple questions for you. How do you manage to play a sport and also do good good in your classes? Well, the best thing is for me is whenever I just focus on uh, school and have the just make sure that soccer's not on my mind all the time. And uh, if I do, then I just end up not focusing on it. And then it, I just want to spend it. How long have you been playing your sport for? Uh, I am 16 right now, so that means I've been playing soccer since I was three, so it's 13 years old. Well, okay. What catch to your attention for the love of soccer? Uh, well, when I was a little kid, it was just that I was able to play on the team. So I never thought that I, I was bad. Do you play sports to escape any problems or to forget about stuff? Yeah, a lot of the time because soccer just is a special thing. Alright, thank you. We were interviewing at the McSayu and we were wondering how you manage school and you manage playing your favorite sport. I have a couple questions for you. How do you manage to play a sport and also do good? Go to your classes. Well, the best thing is for me is whenever I just focus on uh, school and have to just make sure that soccer's not on my mind all the time. And because uh, if I do, then I just end up not focusing in class. And, uh, and it, I just want something to look forward to at the end of the day. And me failing in class is not going to at the end of the day. And me failing in class is not going to help me do it. Okay. How long have you been playing your sport for? I'm 16 right now, so that means I've been playing soccer since I was 3, so it's 13 years. Whoa. Okay, what catch your attention for the love of soccer? Um, well, when I was a little kid, it was just that I was able to play on the team because I never thought that I, I was that athletic until I actually started practicing. And um, I basically got used to it. Soccer became my love.
Do you play sports to escape any problems or to forget about stuff? Yeah, a lot of the time because soccer just is uh, stressing for me and for almost anybody who's leaving. Alright, thank you. Hi, my name is Priscilla and I'm in a team. We're interviewing um, athletes like you. So we would all like to ask some questions today. Alright, alright. Okay. How many years have you been playing your sport? Um, I've been playing baseball for about 10 years. Yeah. Wow. Great. Um, well, do you play your sport to get away from problems like school problems, family problems, any other problems? Um, I think that... Yeah. No, it's not what you think. Just yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Too. I, well, yeah, basically, since, like, like, sometimes, like, something's happening at home, my like school, but then, like, I get to the field, and then, like, it all goes away. I just focus on baseball. That's good. Keep it up. Um, I um, what got you into playing baseball? Um, so basically it was that I was around four, and then like I guess um, I was coming home from like a soccer game, mm -hmm. but I didn't really like soccer because it got me tired and I was bored. But then like then I saw these kids like hitting like. Hit it while playing baseball, and I got interested, so I, I would join there. To this day, I still play. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully, you keep playing baseball. Hi, my name is Priscilla, and I'm in a team. We're interviewing um, athletes like you, so we would all like to ask some questions to you. Alright, alright. Okay. How many years have you been playing your sport? No, um, I've been playing baseball for about. 10 years? No. Wow. Great. Um, well, do you play your sport to get away from problems like school problems, family problems, any other problems? Um, I think that... Yeah, no, it's not easy. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Uh, well, yeah, basically, it's just like, like something at home, like school, but then like, I get to the field and then like I'll put the way I just focus on baseball. Mm, that's good. Keep it up. Um, I um what got you into playing in baseball? Um, so basically it was that I was around four and then like I guess um I was coming home from like a soccer game. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really like soccer because it got me tired and I was bored. But then, like, then I saw these kids, like, hitting, like, hitting while playing baseball, and I got interested, so I, I was trying to, um, to this day, I'm so Well, thank you so much. You know, don't look at my. All right, please state your name and who your child is. I'm Stacy Bro, and my son is Teron Bro. Okay. Uh, what sports does Teron play, and how long has he been playing them? Uh, Teron plays football and basketball. He's been playing basketball and football since he was six. All right. Now, I know it's difficult being a parent of an athlete. Please tell us how you manage that time and help Teron with being the best athlete he can be. Well, you're correct in saying managing the time is really hard being that the fact that they come to Kip, but we manage it pretty well. Um, like I said, he's been playing since he was six. So, you know, we kind of have a drill, you know, down, get home, take a bath, eat, do your homework after practice. So. Basically, we just learn how to use all our time wisely. Yes, ma'am. All right. And I understand that being an athlete and a student at the same time is very difficult. How do you help him be a student and an athlete at the same time? 
Well, first of all, it is a student athlete, so we make sure that the student part is taken care of. Um, we just help him as much as we can. We, we, we try to help him with his homework, manage his time, just make sure that everything is working, you know, accordingly to our schedule and his schedule, basically. <laughs> all right. And what are your plans for Teron going to college and playing on a full scholarship for sports? Our plans would be for him to get a full ride academically and athletically. Um, either way, it will be fine with us. Um, as far as playing um, college basketball, you know, if it happens, we're happy and we'll get him all the support that he needs to get through college playing, you know, sports. All right. Thank you, Ms. Bro, for your time. That'll be all for today. Thank you.